What's good, y'all? Back with another video. So in this video, we're going to be going over on who Spider-Man 2099 is. And to be honest, I have to admit, I didn't expect to um to actually make a video on Spider-Man 2099. So I thought people enough people knew who he is, but apparently not. And since he's going to be in the next Spider-Man movie at the end of the year, I thought this time is, is better than any other time to make it. So y'all know how it goes. If you like my content so far that involves Spider-Man, Batman, and games featured on my channel, be sure to like the video. And subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything in the future. And also leave a comment down below if you got any more facts on Spider-Man 2099. Or you want me to discuss any other topics that you'll mention in the comments below that involves Spider-Man, Batman, or games featured on my channel. Uh, just leave that in the comments down below. And if you want to support me on other social media like my Instagram, my itch.io, my game jokes. Since I'm also a game developer on the side too. Uh, I'll leave those down in the description box below. And let's go. Okay, so his first appearance is issue one of the Spider-Man 2099 comic run series in the 90s. So in the year 2099, Miguel O'Hara was working on genetic splicing experiments with his co-worker named Aaron at Alchemex Corporation. They were successful with animal trials and was expected to start human trials. This motivated Miguel since he thought about trying to recreate the powers that the original Spider-Man had. Soon after though. They had their first human trial and it was a disaster which made Miguel want to quit the project and his job at Alchemex. So he went to his boss named Tyler Stone but Tyler wasn't having it so he secretly spiked Miguel's drink with a legal and addictive drug called Rapture that was only produced by Alchemex. This was Stone's way to manipulate and control his employees to keep working under him so they can keep getting the drug in, in exchange. Also, this drug isn't the type of drug where you can just stop using it after you go to rehab. It has the ability to attach itself to the user's genetic code, which makes it unavoidable. This made Miguel furious, so he sneaked into Alchemex one night to re rewrite his current DNA with a copy of his genetic code he already filed at an earlier date. Everything was going well until Stone intervened and sabotaged Miguel's plan by using spider genetic code to alter 50% of Miguel's DNA. This caused an explosion and the equipment that Miguel was using was destroyed. But Miguel was Miguel survived, and when Aaron came to the scene, he tried to look at Miguel. He was scared since Miguel had no pupils in his eyes. He had fangs, and he had sharp talons on his fingertips. Aaron tried to shoot Miguel, but he couldn't hit him, and he accidentally shot a highly flammable canister that caused the whole top floor to explode. Miguel tried to save Aaron, but the talons on his fingertips were hurting him so much that he couldn't hold on, and he fell to his death. Soon after... Alchemex security arrived and Miguel escaped by jumping on a sky kite carrying a Thorite, which is someone that worships Thor. Stone hired an assassin to hunt down Miguel, and as soon as Miguel found out about the assassin, he wore a suit made of unstable molecules he wore in the Day of the Dead event a while back, and used a piece of the Thorite sky kite to create a cape which makes it the official Spider-Man 2099 suit. Then he went out, defeated the assassin, and officially became the Spider-Man on 2099. So the suit's abilities are very simple. It's made of unstable molecules and it has a web cape for gliding. Since compared to Peter Parker, Miguel O'Hara doesn't really swing that much in the series in the city since um is really advanced and he doesn't really need to since he got the cape to glide. So this is a little bonus. I'm gonna tell y'all on how he got his second suit, which is the white suit you see on the screen right now. So while stranded in the present day and no way to return to his current timeline at the moment, Peter Parker offered Miguel a job at Parker Industries and he accepts it. And if y'all are wondering on how Peter got a company at that time, so I'm going to summarize it real quick. Um, so at the end of the Superior Spider-Man run where Doc Ock sacrificed himself for Peter to come back as Spider-Man, um, Doc Ock actually had a company uh, called Parker Industries during his time as Superior Spider-Man. And since Doc Ock's gone, Peter actually had to take over the company since everybody thinks that, uh, that uh, Peter Parker was Peter Parker and not... Peter Parker, well, not Doc Ock and Peter Parker's body. So, yeah, that, that was a little bit of a, of a long story. But it was a good comic run, so I suggest y'all read that. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. At the same time, Miguel was not Spider-Man for some time since he thought it wasn't necessary. And I don't really blame him since you have Peter Parker, Miles Morales, Jessica Drew, which is Spider-Woman. Uh, Silk, a.k.a. Cindy Moon, which I actually have an origin video. I'll link that in the description box below. Uh, Venom anti-agent Venom, and I think even Gwen Stacy, uh, Spider-Gwen popped up from time to time too. So yeah, you have, you have a lot of Spider-People, so again, I don't, really, I don't really blame Miguel for not being Spider-Man that timeline since you got a lot of Spider-People to cover it. So, 
But it's comics, so that's not really going to last long since he took a quick peek in his future after he built a machine to look into the future and found out everything was destroyed. So, of course, he quickly became Spider-Man 2099 again, wearing a new suit made with the help of Parker Industries. And this suit's abilities is actually a little bit better than uh, his original suit, but I prefer his his um his blue his blue and red suit since to be honest, I think it's, it's a little bit more badass, especially with the was especially with the um what should I call it? his 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 arm his arm claws at the end and his his mask. I don't know. Something about that suit is, is just so damn cool. Uh, but anyways. Um, so this suit has rocket boots, unstable molecules fused with Kevlar, which makes it even tougher than his original suit. He has a web cape for gliding, sensors for area search, and an internal GPS. So next is his abilities. So just like the original Spider-Man, he has super strength, enhanced durability, enhanced agility, a little bit of a healing factor. He has wall crawling abilities, but here's a, here's are some differences from the original Spider-Man or any other Spider-Man. So he don't got no spider sense, but like any other Spider-Man, he has fast reflexes would make up for that. He has fangs that carry poison to paralyze enemies. He has enhanced vision and he has retractable sharp talons. And oh yeah, I also forgot about this. So just like any other Spider-Man, he's also smart. So he got genius level IQ too. And that's about it for Miguel O'Hara. Oh, and before I forget, here's a fun fact. So Miguel O'Hara is actually the first Hispanic Spider-Man right before Miles Morales. And that's basically it for Miguel O'Hara. So if you like my content that involves Spider-Man, Batman, or any games featured on my channel, or you learn something from this video, you should like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything in the future. If you want to say anything in the comment section below that involves any facts on Miguel O'Hara, or you want me to cover any topics in the future that involves Spider-Man, Batman, or games featured on my channel, I'll leave that in the comment section below. If you want to support me on my other social media, such as my Instagram, my itch.io, my game joke, I'll leave those in the description box below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.